It's been seven days since I've been able to get a recording in, but I'm back. Day seven. And Christ alone is the theme. And the scripture for the day is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. And it is the NIV version. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, a new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. Hey everyone, it's Lenine here. I just want to take a moment to give thanks and share a powerful message with you all. I am truly in awe of everything that's happening in my life right now. To God be the glory. It's through Him that I find my strength and his words are what I meditate on and believe in. Even in my toughest moments, when I struggle to turn to his word, it remains deeply embedded in my heart. Sometimes I get angry and stubborn, but then I remember where my help and strength come from. Today, our journey brings us to the core of our faith and transformation, being in Christ alone. This means that our identity, our hope, and our renewal are rooted deeply in Jesus Christ. As we reflect on 2 Corinthians 5.17, let us understand that embracing Christ makes us a new creation. The old, with all its pains, mistakes, and sorrows, has passed away. We are no longer defined by our past, but are now renewed, vibrant, and whole in Him. I was reflecting on the story of the family who moved too quickly and sold their land. The story resonates deeply with my current situation. I've been overwhelmed by my current man management team, forced to downgrade in my position, however, a upgrade in my business. And through it all, I recognize I am blessed and highly favored. So I want to share this message with you to keep going. Do not give up. Someone needs to hear your testimony. Looking back, I've realized I've moved too quickly. Without realizing it, I put in a transfer to reassign a year ago onto another position. I had had I planned better. I'd be set right now to move. Being connected to the source, fully armed with his word, has brought clarity and strength. This journey, beginning with the inner journey of resilience, growth, and light, has been a revelation for me. It's about manifestation and belief. You have to believe in your vision, live it, and understand your worth. To God be the glory. 20 years ago approximately, I was preparing to face one of the most devastating times of my life. I was headed to California, yearning for family, but ended up homeless. A situation that had nothing to do with me spiraled out of control and my daughter and I ended up on the streets. I learned a hard lesson then. Blood is thicker than water, but calm is thicker than it all. And karma is bigger than everything. That experience brought me to my knees in prayer and God carried me through. This brings me to my frustrations with my current supervisors. I had put in a transfer motivated by promise of marriage that never materialized. A year later, I was selected for a new position needing only to pass an exam. I believe God, however, will make a way and I will be in a beautiful home regardless of my credit score or income. 
He has removed everyone who needed to be removed from my life and replacing with the resources to get me by. Think about what it means to be a new creation. Today's theme in Christ alone. Know that your past no longer defines you. Instead, your identity is now wrapped in the love, grace, and purpose found in Christ. Letting go of the old, reflect on aspects of your life that you need to let go of. These might be old habits, negative thoughts, or past mistakes, but acknowledge them. And then visualize them being washed away by the renewing power of Jesus, Christ Jesus. Embracing the new. Consider new things God is doing in your life. How are you being transformed daily? What new attitudes, behaviors, and perspectives is God cultivating in you? In the past two weeks, after over 11 years with the post office, God has placed me in my path, or pay late, I'm sorry, placed people in my path who have reminded me of my purpose. I am a person here to serve with love. Yet the dark side can be overwhelming, but I hold on to Jeremiah 29, 11. God has plans for me and I must stay focused. For 30 days, I had no income. Relying on my savings and trust in God to cover my essentials, this break has refreshed me and I'm here ready to move forward with renewed strength, mental clarity, yes, grace. My 30-day mental leave continuous FMLA break from my job was a blessing in disguise. It gave me time to reconnect with God, refocus on my goals, and recharge my spirit. It was during this time that I realized my true calling and the steps needed to take to achieve. Journal for today. Write down a list of three things from your past that you are ready to let go of. Then write a list of new qualities or habits you want to embrace. Affirmations for the day. Create affirmations that align with your new identity. For example, I am loved. I am forgiven. I am a new creation in Christ. In your acts of renewal, perform a small act of renewal. Where it could be as simple as organizing a cluttered space starting a new habit or reaching out to someone with kindness and grace. I didn't use hardship monies, but I ended up in hardship because I'm constantly investing in myself and I have no regrets. I hear people who say they want me to succeed and how cute my products are, but they haven't purchased. But had I held off on that 30-day break, I for sure have the money for relocating. So now I'm praying hard and hustling my bags out of my trunk. In fact, I have new bags for, well, yeah, on the way. Low-key, the Rolls Royce of bags for men and women. And the theme is, you must be grown to carry. Anyway, shouts out to the selecting official for selecting WAH. I am looking at the benefits of relocating from Detroit, Michigan to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And they are abundant. 
The change from being a mail carrier to a window clerk is a significant upgrade as it saves on the wear and tear of my body. It offers a more stable work environment for the physical, less strain and greater opportunities for personal interaction and the viewing. The vibrant atmosphere of Fort Lauderdale with this beautiful weather and diverse community will be a refreshing change. This move is not just a physical relocation, but a spiritual and emotional upliftment, aligning me more closely with my purpose, God's plan for my life, and you know, cruising is my niche. So prayer time. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the promise of new life in Christ. As I walk this journey, help me to fully embrace my in identity in Jesus. Let the old things in my life pass away and may I be continually renewed by my spirit. Filled with your love, grace, and wisdom that I may live as a true reflection of your new creation. Guide my steps and thoughts and actions that they may glorify you and bring honor to your name. In Christ's precious name, I pray. Amen. If you love me, I need you to join my squad. Subscribe and invest in me. A dollar ninety nine a month can make a difference when I succeed. Everyone who supported me, come along for the ride. To everyone listening, say congrats again. My daughter, she made it in. That waiver was approved. She had a medical disqualification. And then she received a waiver and it was approved. So she's now headed to the Air Force Academy. And I couldn't be prouder. Glory to God for this blessing. She scored a whopping 63. Affirmation for today. I am a new creation in Christ. The old has passed away. I am embracing the new life God has for me and mine. Remember, our Father in Heaven has plans for us. Stay tuned for more videos. Hit that subscribe button. And let's continue this journey together. To God be the glory for my story. What's yours? You share. It's how we overcome Amen. our testimonies. See you tomorrow. God will.